Hey everyone, there was some confusion with the last task that I assigned about writing your own uh, data structure that was uh, essentially uh, an array that had additional methods attached to it. So I just wanted to explain a little bit more about um, what exactly I mean. So you're constructing uh, what, what's essentially going to be an int array, something like this, a list of integers, uh, but it has some extra functionality, some methods that are attached to it, some things you can do with it that a regular array doesn't have automatically. So, for example, you want to be able to uh, append a new value to the end of the list, or you want to be able to remove a value from the middle, or you want to be able to insert a value somewhere along the way. You want to be able to do that with a single command. The reason we want to do that is that often we'll have an application which needs to keep track of a list, but doesn't want to do all of the hard work of writing all of this code, which maybe lots and lots of different applications are going to use. So in this application, some application that you're writing, you'll have uh, examples of linear int stores, examples of these lists, these arrays. And they happen to be implemented with arrays. It doesn't matter that they are. You'll have examples of these lists. And then when you have that list, you can say, hey, my list, please append this value to it. And it doesn't matter that it's an array. Does it, what if it's full? All of those details about how this thing functions is all looked after here. The person writing this application doesn't care. They just say, stick a number on the end. So there was some confusion about how when I assigned this task, I, wasn't, I didn't give you a program exactly. I just gave you a class. So these are each classes. This application here would run in one class. And then it would make an instance, it's called, of this class, which will be called, an, which, is, which is an object. This is an object. It's an, excuse me, an instance of this class, which describes objects of this type. And it also says what kinds of things these objects can do. For example, being able to append uh, onto that uh, to the end of the list. But you can have more than one of these, and you can have, you can have more than one object. So here's a different uh, list. It is a separate object. It is still an example of a linear int store. It's called another instance. And so my application could have two different lists. Maybe I'm keeping a, a list of, uh, I don't know, ages and a list of phone numbers, maybe. I mean, that's not a wonderful example because these are the ints are kind of small for that. Uh, but that's the idea is that you can have multiple copies, m multiple um, objects, rather, multiple instances, and each one has its own list of numbers and they all have the same functionality in common. And the best part is the person writing this application doesn't have to write this functionality. You make this data structure and this person can just use it. Okay, now in order to do some testing, uh, I re-uploaded a new version of things with the framework for this uh, data structure and also a basic testing application, uh, which I put in the same package that I think I called it testing, that made a copy of this, stuck a couple numbers inside of it, added one, took a different one out, and then printed it out. You have to write all of the functionality here so that the testing uh, will show the right value at the end. Okay, and you're going to also need to flesh out this testing application or your own uh, to sh test all of the different functionality. I only put a couple of methods in the one that I wrote. Okay, well I hope that's helped to uh, clear up what exactly I'm looking for, and if it isn't, if it's not helpful, or if you need something else, please email me and let me know. I can either uh, send you another email or I can do another one of these. Thanks.